Welcome to Sew Kids. Thank you for joining me today on our Valentine special. Today we are making a red tool tutu. It's going to be fantastic. Stay tuned. So what you're going to need today is about two yards of tulle fabric. We've got here um, ours very delicate with sparkles. About a half a yard of stretchy elastic. You can see when it stretches open like that, how it's got all these little holes. That's going to be very important for later. So what you're going to do with this is you're going to measure this around your hips or around your bottom to make sure that you can put this on and off. So don't measure just your waist. You want to measure the widest part of your body so you can slip it on and off. And when you're measuring your widest part, so say around your hips and your bottom, you're going to have that pulled nice and taut so that when it shrinks down, it'll fit nicely on your waist. Next thing you'll need is just a little bit of seam stabilizer. Um, this is an optional. You can have a piece of fabric as well. This will be uh, more so for using it on the sewing machine. Of course, some red thread and a needle, or if you'd like to sew this by machine, a sewing machine. If you'd like to save a few steps, you can buy tool on a roll in a width of 6 inches and cut into 26 inch lengths. It will save you some time, but the cost may differ. We chose to go with fabric on the roll because it had sparkles and it gave us the opportunity to demonstrate how to prepare the strips. So I've gone ahead and folded the tool in half lengthwise, the way that it comes off the fold, more easier to manage. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut 6 inch strips all the way down. Measure. Six inches. I'm just going to cut all the way across. And there we go. We have our first strip. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all the other strips and show you the next step. Okay, so here we go. We've got all these layers here. Um, so we've cut our two yards of fabric. Just remember we've got our edge here that we still need to cut. So we're just going to go ahead and do that right now. So just put your hand on there and slip that right in between and then just trim. Okay, so now this turns into two pieces and that will help us to make our skirt even more full. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these ones and get them ready and I'll show you the next step. You should have 26 strips that are six inches wide by about 26 inches long. These will be taken and folded in half and used on our skirt belt. So I'll show you that step soon. Okay, so now it's time to measure the elastic. I'm going to measure it, not pulling it, but just nice and loosely. And I'm going to measure it 16 inches. I'm going to take that line there. And I'm going to cut that. I'll keep this scrap for another project. Now that I've got this trimmed to the size I wanted, just going to note that the back side is flat and the front side has an embellishment on it. It's kind of ripply. So we're going to go ahead and take end to end and make the good side to good side touch. And we're just going to put a pin in there for now. The next thing I'm going to do is just quickly just cut a piece of this trim wide enough to cover that edge because this will be sewn into the seam on the machine. Okay, so now we're going to take our elastic band and we just realign the pin on there. I'm going to put a layer of this stabilizer. Then I'm going to put it into the machine. We're going to do uh, about a half an inch stitch and we're going to do a zigzag. There we go, we've got the stabilizer that helped us to, uh, to sew through where those holes are. Now you can fold it over one time like this and then just stitch it down. I'm going to pull that a little bit taut because I want that seam to be nice and straight. So now you can see that it's sewn and I've top stitched it to reinforce it here. And there you go, that's our waistband. Simple as can be. 
So now I'm going to show you how to do it by hand. I've got the same stabilizer and I'm just going to, I've got a threaded needle. I'm just going to put it in one way and then back through again. So we'll just start off with just a plain stitch in and out. And then when we get to the end, we'll start overlapping it. Come from behind, go to the front, and then come back again to the back. Overlap it over the edge, go to the back. We want this to be strong because it's your waistband, it's going to stretch, there's going to be tension on there. So we just want to make sure that we get it sewn up real good. But it's okay if it's a little bit messy, just, just important to get it nice and secure. Okay, so we'll go with the back, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to trim off the stabilizer because I don't need it as much in this one. It just doesn't it. So it just gives us something to grab onto. So I'm just going to loop around one more time just like I did before. When we get to the end we'll knot it. So to knot it, I just come from the back, go to the front, put my needle through that loop, and pull it tight. I like to do a couple knots. Do it again, go through the loop, pull it tight. Go through the loop, pull it tight. And then I just like to hide my thread in there a little bit. Gets it tucked in. And then trim that off and we've got our waistband. Okay, now that we have our waistband completed, place this on the chair. We're gonna make sure that the center back seam is right in the middle so that it all lines up. But I'm gonna take a piece of my tool and I'm gonna match up the cut edges so that I can find the center point. And I'm just going to make a loop with my hand. Just like that. And I'm going to feed that through the center. I'm going to start in the center on the second row. I'm just going to push this through. It helps to have it on the chair because it pulls it tight. It makes it much easier to thread through. And then you find your hole. And you're going to just place this through. Okay. And then you're going to just gently pull that taut. So my next steps are to put one on this side, this side, and the back. And then this way I can continue just finding the center points every time and this will help me to get an even distribution throughout the whole band. Now that I've done the front, back, and each side, I now can just twist this as I need it and just find the center point and go from there. Now you can see that I've got everything very well spaced out and all I need to do is continue to keep putting it through the centers. And here we have the finished look. Here it is, this is the final product and it looks fantastic. It's so full and beautiful going to make my little girl really happy. I actually didn't use all 26 pieces. I just went with 24. So that left me with a couple of scraps that I have decided to do a bonus accessory. So we're going to do a headband with an awesome little flowerette on the top. So that will be coming up next.
Okay, so that was a lot of fun and I've got sparkles all over me. Look at it, it's done and isn't this so cute? My Valentine is gonna love it. And not to mention, we have a beautiful headband to accessorize with. So I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Got something special you would like to make? Then drop your idea in the comments below.